Okay, picking up where we left off in the last video, when I press play, you can see that there is a camera attached to my character and follows him where he goes. Okay. Um, now let's create a destroyer. Um, actually, I'll press play again. One problem is that when he falls off, he seems to fall forever. Okay, so we're going to put a destroyer down below here. Okay, and I do have these uh, other scripts here. I have this destroyer script. Now, um, the destroyer script, you can actually get these scripts from, um, when you download the free Unity 2D assets. Um, so if you just go to the asset store and download the Unity 2D assets package, or you can load them when you uh, create a new project. Um, you can also download this particular project that I'm working on here. Um, that'll be below the video and you can just grab the scripts from there as well. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go to game object, 3D object, quad. Okay, and I'm gonna move my quad down below and I'm going to stretch the quad out, okay? Like so. Okay, and I'm gonna move it down a little ways. It's supposed to, it's gonna kill him, so I'd rather it fall, him fall for a little ways first. Okay, now let's go ahead and make sure quad selected in fact let's rename this quad to destroy one okay and again make sure that object is selected I'm going to remove the mesh collider I'm going to come down here in the inspector and select add component physics 2d rigid body 2d and we'll just set the uh, gravity to zero um, add component physics 2d box collider now, in the box collider here in the inspector, make sure that is trigger is checked. Okay? Now I'm going to grab the destroyer script and drag it onto my destroyer or my quad here. Okay? Um, the only other thing that I need to do is select my character and make sure that my character is tagged as player. Okay? So the layer is player and it is tagged as player. Okay? Um, let's go ahead and press play and off he goes and the game pauses okay and later the game won't pause when he dies but that's how we're gonna um, start okay now we've added our destroyer to this quad right here okay and let's see I can also um, what can we do here I'm gonna go to the destroyer again I'm going to remove the mesh renderer okay remove that component and now the uh, quads invisible so um, my camera actually moves faster than my player it'll depend on what your settings are in the end but there's no reason to have a quad visible that just does d destroys so um, anyway okay so let's go ahead and drag another sprite in I'll drag these spikes in okay and I'm gonna set up a little uh, well little obstacle for him here so I'm going to set the spikes right here and this other platform right here okay and he won't be able to make that jump all right so let's see right now he's gonna fall right through the spikes but let's make sure yeah he can't make that jump okay and the reason why he died is because he hit my uh, destroyer down here okay not because he hit the spikes so let's go ahead and make those spikes deadly so I'm going to select the spikes and we'll add component physics 2d rigid body 2d okay I'm going to actually select let's see gravity scale 0 um, we'll, we'll select is kinematic what else should we do here um, we'll add physics 2d polygon collider okay it's a complex shape see how it fits around those spikes much better with a polygon collider okay um, make sure is trigger is selected okay now well, oh, we'll leave it like this for now. Um, I'm going to alter this a little bit here in a moment. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and go back to our scripts, drag our destroyer script onto our spikes. Okay, we'll press play. And he's got to jump over and he can't make it. And the game pauses. Okay, now I want to put another obstacle in here that he can push onto the spike so he can hop on that and then hop over here but the uh, polygon collider we're using as a trigger so we need to add another polygon collider so physics 2d polygon collider this time we're going to leave is trigger unchecked okay and we'll go ahead and press um nope not yet actually 
let's see here. Go back to my sprites, and I have this brick, okay? And we'll put the brick right here. Um, the brick is actually in front of our platform right now, and I don't want that. So I'm going to, in the position here, I'm going to set the Z axis to 1, okay? Now you can see he's, it's actually behind it. And then that way it'll just fall on the collider and kind of look like it's, you know, pushing down in the plants a little bit. Look a little cleaner. Um, okay, let's add a physics a rigid body 2D. Um, I'm going to select freeze rotation because when he pushes it off, I don't want this thing to rotate at all. I want it to just go thunk and then stand, um, fall right down here so we can stand on it. Okay, um, good. Add component physics 2D. Um, I'm going to put a polygon collider on it again. Okay, um, I don't want a box collider because it'll leave this corner over right here. Okay, and right over here, is this isn't actually a perfect rectangle, and so it'll look better like this, especially if I create more of these and he interacts with them or stacks them or something. Okay, so um, yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and press play. Okay, so he's going to push this off the edge. All right, and you can jump on here, and then you can jump on there. All right, there we go. Looks good. All right, one thing I don't like, actually, is I don't like how the hooves are kind of riding up like that. I'm pretty sure that's actually my guy here. So let's see. We'll go ahead and go to the circle collider. Oh, it was probably the first circle collider. Yeah, I was sure it was this guy. Yep. And we'll go ahead and just bring that up just a little bit like that. Let's try that. Okay, so we push that off, and that looks good. All right, lines over here. Oh, and he dies. Okay, so there you go. Now, um, since the camera will actually follow the player, you can set all kinds of obstacles up, and you can, well, at this point, you can, as you can see, you can set up other objects that you can push around, and you know so he can manipulate his environment some it's a whole lot more we can do these things you know we can make these things float back and forth which we'll do we'll make some trap doors um all kinds of stuff some destroyers that will move um and then we'll keep building it up from there all right but you can actually do quite a bit from uh, beginning right here really just by building up these different obstacles and thinking about some interesting ways that he can you know our character can get himself in and out of different situations so um, go ahead and explore that for a while make some neat artwork that goes into your game and have some fun Ugh. <laughs>